बिसमीम डी स्टूडेंट्स अस्सलाम वालेकुम एंड वेलकम टू ऑफिस डॉट कॉम डॉट पी के डी स्टूडेंट्स प्रीवियसली वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट एल्केन्स एंड वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट देयर इनर्ट नेचर एंड द इनर्टनेस ऑफ सिग्मा बॉन्ड द सिंगल बॉन्ड व्हिच इज़ प्रेजेंट इन एल्केन्स ड्यू टू विच दे आर सेचूरेटेड एंड दे डू नॉट गिव रिएक्शन ईजीली टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्यू रिएक्शन दैट आर शोन बाय एल्केन्स अंडर सर्टन कंडीशंस as i have told you that alkanes are saturated their bond the bond of carbon are fully satisfied because of that the alkanes rarely participate in any kind of reaction but they do participate under certain conditions the conditions are high temperature high pressure sometimes uh, there is a need of a catalyst as well so we will discuss four types of reaction the first one will be combustion the second one will be oxidation third one nitration and fourth is halogenation the very famous reactions and the very important one so let us discuss combustion first of all now combustion is uh, basically nothing but oxidation but it is oxidation in the presence of excess of oxygen when excess oxygen is provided to any hydrocarbon it burns and that is known as combustion so burning of an alkane in the presence of an of oxygen or excess oxygen is known as combustion so in the presence of extra or excessive oxygen the burning of alkanes is known as combustion so complete combustion of an alkane when when an alkane is completely burned it will yield three products the first one is carbon dioxide the second one is water and third is high amount of heat energy so the reaction is highly exothermic so the amount of heat evolved when one mole of hydrocarbon is burned to carbon dioxide and water is called heat of combustion here is a definition of heat of combustion the heat produced as a result of burning one mole of alkane or hydrocarbon resulting in the formation of carbon dioxide and water now let us see the chemical equation for the process we will take methane the simplest alkane and then excess oxygen i told you that uh, alkanes do not easily participate in the reaction so we have to provide flame or high temperature to carry out the reaction and the products are carbon dioxide water and heat energy the heat which is given out is almost 391 kilojoule per mole so although the reaction is highly exothermic it requires high temperature as well you need flame or spark to initiate the reaction otherwise it will not start because the alkanes they are paraffins they have little affinity and they do not participate in the reaction so combustion is a major reaction which occurs in the combustion engines or of automobiles and the compressed mixture of alkanes and air it burns smoothly in the internal combustion engine and in it increases the efficiency now the second reaction is oxidation Now first of all 
there is a general rule for oxidation we start from an alkene now oxidation is also of two types the first one is incomplete oxidation incomplete oxidation is that in which there is limited supply of oxygen or air and it results in the formation of carbon monoxide and carbon black or you can say simply carbon first of all we will see the incomplete oxidation i will write the chemical equation again we need flame the products are carbon monoxide water and carbon black in the form of solid residue now you will uh, see that there are four molecules of oxygen and here we have two and still we are saying that it is limited supply you can also observe that here we have only one molecule of methane and here we have three molecules of methane so as compared to this one this one will have least oxygen or it will have limited oxygen so we will obtain carbon black now the second one is catalytic oxidation now in catalytic oxidation there is a general scheme that needs to be followed now what is the scheme first of all we take an alkene the alkene will be oxidized we will use any catalytic uh, metal like copper and a high temperature and high pressure is also required it will be converted into alcohol respective alcohol then on further oxidation in the same conditions it will be converted into an aldehyde or a ketone depending upon what type of alkene you are using or what type of alcohol is formed if the primary alcohol is formed then simply aldehyde will be formed it's if secondary or tertiary alcohols will be formed then ketones will be formed in the next step so on further oxidation it will give carboxylic acid and upon further oxidation it will ultimately yield carbon dioxide plus water so you can see in all the reactions we have seen whenever there is interaction of alkene with oxygen the ultimate result is either carbon dioxide carbon monoxide with water okay so catalytic oxidation is quite slower as compared to the complete oxidation combustion or incomplete oxidation so alkene oxidation will give alcohol you have to remember this scheme alcohol aldehyde ketone and on further oxidation they will give carboxylic acid and ultimately they will give carbon dioxide and water now let us apply this scheme on an example here we have an example again i am taking methane as an example because it is mentioned in your book so it will be easier for you to understand first of all we took methane plus now here it is catalytic oxidation so oxygen will be in the form of the temperature will be as high as 400 degree centigrade and pressure will be as high as 200 atm it will give us methyl alcohol you can see alkene into alcohol then this methyl alcohol on further oxidation under similar condition will give aldehyde this is formaldehyde we will take formaldehyde again oxygen similar condition it will give carboxylic acid this is formic acid the simplest carboxylic acid then upon further oxidation 
it will yield carbon dioxide and water so this is all about the combustion and oxidation of alkane now let us see nitration as well as halogenation